But what does the CEO do? Well, they're... There, there's a lot of concepts actually involved in being a CEO. I, don't, I mean, some of you out there maybe haven't had that opportunity, but these two have, and they can tell you there's a lot of concepts in there. Puff, it, puff. It, first of all, it involves profit, uh, you know, because you're supposed to be guiding a company, uh, and they're supposed to be making money, not losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're, you know, you're, you're seemingly overseeing a company. And a company is quite a construct too, you know, it's a legal entity, but it's got a lot of things in it. Most companies has a lot of things and then, and, and then you're kind of over people and you tend to be over managers or firing, hiring people. I'm sure you both had to fire and hire people. There's decisions, all these decisions involve concepts and beliefs. And Buddha had it right, and Jesus had it right, that you have to empty the mind of all concepts and beliefs. So that's why I say that you can't be enlightened and be a CEO, mm -hmm. because you can't be a mind that's wrapped up with all these concepts and be enlightened, which is an empty mind, a mind that's clueless about the world. It's just clueless and trusting its source, and trusting its source for everything, not, not even a... A word is out of place, not a dot, not a tittle. Nothing is out of place in, in that full, enlightened state of mind. So maybe you can just share a bit, because for both of you, it was a, a pretty intense unwinding. The ego was bucking and like a bronco in there. Uh,